Hey hey and welcome to the Rada Explain series. In this video we're gonna look at the five ways to wound in the Stretha. But first I will explain the system to describe movement. Both of these are used in most of the Stretha systems. The system to describe movement is by having three axes along which movement can be made. A regular three-dimensional vector-based system. Each direction along the three axes are named. Forward motion is called movimiento accidental, which means accidental movement. Backwards motion is called movimiento estrano, which means strange movement. Downwards motion is called movimiento natural, which means natural movement. Upwards motion is called movimiento violento, which means violent movement. Here is the point it differs from vectors on a Cartesian coordinate system. Motions away from the center is called movimiento remiso, which is hard to translate, but something along the lines of offline movement. Mo motions back towards the center is called movimiento de reducción, which means reductive movement. Movement in the stressa is before Newton and based on Aristotelian physics. The whole system takes a bit too much time to describe, so I won't go into it, but feel free to read up on it if you're interested. Natural is generally considered the best movement as it puts gravity on your side. It is possible to both put the weight of the sword and the weight of your body into a natural motion. Violent is considered the weakest for the same reason natural is the strongest. Most moves in the stretha tries to come from above of that reason. Sideways movement is natural with neither online or offline motion being better. That the motions are defined as away and towards the center shows how important the center line is considered being in the stretha. In early the stretha, this system for movement was used to describe an action. For Radha, he only does it occasionally. He has other system of pyramids he prefers. I will describe it at a later point. In the stretha, there is generally five ways to wound. There are variations to them, but I will just talk about the main group for now. The five ways are estocada, or as I will refer to it most of the time, thrust, medio tajo, a hop cut on the inside, tajo, a full cut on the inside, medio revés, a hop cut on the outside, revés, a full cut on, on the outside, tajo means cut. Reverse means reverse. The thrust is of course delivered with a tip, but how does not really matter. It is usually done with a step, but in some cases is delivered with the arm. Medio tajo is a cut on the inside, right side for a right hand fencer. The cut usually is done first by pulling back to get an arc, then a straight cut. Often the cut is done from a position so the setup can be omitted. For example, doing it from a tajo 2. Cut is often delivered with a step. Tajo is a cut on the inside. The cut is started off with a full moulinette. The setup starts to the left, forming a full circle finishing on the right side. The cut is often started either by utilizing the force of the opponent or when you, you yourself already move in a pattern that do the setup. Generally, the cut is not done alone, and especially not when you're already at proporcionado. Reason being, it's very slow if you do not find a way to omit the setup and can easily be countered. If you're close to your opponent during the setup of the cut, the opponent can even grab your hilt. Medio revés is a cut on the outside, left side for a right-handed fencer. It's more or less identical to the medio tajo, but mirrored. Both medio tajo and medio revés often targets the head and is delivered horizontally, but sometimes it's delivered diagonally. At times, both can target the wrist 
as well. Reves is a cut on the outside, which is started up with a full Molinet circle. It is the mirrored version of Tacho. It is not uncommon that people find it awkward to do one side or the other of Reves and Tacho. The goal is to form a plane and make a full circle around that plane. Rada recommends them to be done mostly use, using the wrist. Early Destreta used the whole arms for the cuts. All cuts should end close to the right angle and after done should move you back to the right angle. An important part about the cuts is that they are done by utilizing force. The startup is done by the help of the opponent but also by gravity. Most of the cuts is done by steering with just a little bit of extra force added by you as defensor. Do notice, all cuts are from above, or at least horizontal. There are no cuts from below in the Stretha. There are variations to its cuts and thrusts, but by knowing the five, you'll be able to get them. All techniques in Radha's Destreza ends in one of the five or variants of them. In my next video, I will bring up the exercises Radha has for the wounding actions.